John and Zach met a couple of years ago. In fact, it was the love of God and the God of love, Cupid, that brought them together. He knew they were in love, but he wanted them to find out for themselves. It was a, oh, maybe this could work. Like, maybe we'll have, maybe life won't be as difficult. Maybe life won't be as hidden. I don't think anyone could have dreamed up a better match for our John, where John is effusive and warm and hilarious. Zach is dignified and graceful and kind. He carries himself with this quiet confidence that only comes from being the smartest guy in any room, to tell you the truth. Visiting Zach in New York uh, after he after he just met John, and uh, you know we're just having a conversation, and I asked him, you know, simply how he was doing, and he said in one word, "Happy." And uh, I know that that meant something because we're kind of a family of pessimists, and when Zach says something like that, you take it seriously. So uh, please, you know, at the risk of getting too drunk, let's raise our glasses to this special couple and wish them many more years of happiness to come. The hospitality, warmth, and caring nature of both John and Zach make you feel like you're part of their family. I'm honored to call both of them my friends. I think of them as family, and I'm very excited to be part of the next chapter in their relationship. to welcome every one of you for being here and extend your love, your acceptances, your support, your encouragement to my most favorite couple in the whole universe. I love you guys. I believe in you two so much. I love you, Zach. You are the most classy, ethical, compassionate, generous human being I've ever seen. You are amazing. And I don't know what I've done to deserve you to come to our lives and taking care of my baby. I really don't know what I've done. But I truly admire your presence in my son's life. You guys are amazing. Celebrating love to the fullest form. Fullest. 